Travel industry can tell us a lot about the state of the consumer. Yesterday, Airbnb pulled a page out of its original playbook, making a bet on guests wanting more options at lower price points. Andrew caught up with CEO Brian Chesky and asked him about the origins of the idea. A year ago, I decided to live on Airbnb. I love like dog food in the product. And then halfway through the last year, I realized we needed to get more supply. Demand was rising faster than supply. And I'm like, well, I need to become a host. I also kind of wanted to be a host. And I was thinking of renting my second home. The problem is I don't have a second home. I have one house. And I'm like, well, I'm not really traveling, so my only option is I can rent a room in my house. And then I'm like, oh my god, wait, I'm going to let strangers stay in my house? Which is what people around the world think when they think of right. Airbnb. Totally. I said, I'm going to bite the bullet. I, did, I was the first one. Joe and I were the right. first ones to do it. Now I'm 41. Should I still do this? And I said, I'm going to do it. So I put up a room in my house. I called it Beyond the Airbed, because Airbnb started as Airbed and right. Breakfast. This is basically uh, experience where you get to stay and there's like memorability of Airbnb. But the thing is, I started realizing when I had a room in my house, see, I had this memory that staying in a room in a house was something that young 26 year olds do. Cause that's what I was right. when I started Airbnb. And I realized like people staying with me were like my age or like mid thirties. And it was a bigger audience. And I realized, you know what? We should relook at this product that this idea of staying in a house with somebody right. else, it's not a weird thing. It could be very mainstream, and that really informed us. When they would book the room, yeah. how would you vet the person who was therefore going to live in your house? Well, yeah, so like people requested a book, <clears throat> and they would have a full profile. Right. We also have like reservation screening technology. So you know, we've done over a billion and a half guest arrivals on, Air, uh, on Airbnb. It's been used more than a billion and a half times. And so we have a lot of indicators of when there's a problem or not. And then I'd have a conversation with them on messaging, right. and I'd ask them, and, Good thing they all had some point of reference. Like one of them was a founder of a Y Combinator startup. I figured Y Combinator does a pretty good job screening people. Another was a top host in Brazil on Airbnb. Right. So I got to know people through messaging. Okay, shared bathroom or ensuite bathroom? This is technically a shared bathroom, but we don't use the bathroom. Like it's not, it, it is a shared bathroom to the house, but I said, right. while you're here, I'm not gonna use it. And how do you imagine this new product is used in that regard? I think the bathroom is a big deal. <laughs> well, here's the thing. <clears throat> we, have, we now ask hosts, do you have a private bedroom, bathroom or an ensuite bathroom or a shared bathroom? And you can filter for it. So if you want your own bathroom, and a lot of people do, you can filter for it. And a lot of private rooms have their own bathrooms. So you can choose whatever you want. And then what's this going to do to your margin? Because well, this is going to be a lower price, price point. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be that cannibalistic. I think people who still want to stay in entire homes are going to stay in entire homes. I w hope what this does, the strategy is to attract the next generation of travelers. I want to make sure that the next gen, Generation Z, younger people right. that were like when I started, not as much money, that we get that next right. generation. They book rooms, they get older, they have families, then they book right. entire homes. So it, it appears like some of this is being driven by just the feedback that you get over the transom by, totally. by email and like. How much of it, though, is looking at the economics of the business today and seeing people actually trading down? You know, so we had Andy Jassy on the program two weeks ago, and he was talking about how he's actually seeing people who typically were buying more expensive product. Are, are, you know, if you're buying an 85-inch TV, yeah. maybe now you're buying a 55-inch TV. Are you seeing that in the actual numbers of the business today? It's pretty stable. The price per night, average daily rate, is about what it was a year ago. So it's pretty stable. Um, there might be a little bit of replacement where people are booking slightly, uh, but it's actually pretty right. stable.